There are a total of 3,764 LEGO pieces, and they can come in any of the 73 colors that exist in the LEGO palette. And while not every piece comes in every color, that is still a lot of unique pieces. So when it comes to sorting LEGO, where does someone even begin? A lot of videos I've seen on the subject show these incredible rooms with countless drawers and bins, sorting what seems like every piece of every color, but that is simply a dream for most people, including myself. A few years back, around the same time that I started this channel, I wanted to sort all of my pieces, but a lot of the resources I came across for help were like the aforementioned videos. They were too drilled down and too detailed in the way they sorted their pieces. They were also way too focused on which organizers to use and not how to actually use them. I only had this fabric 3x3 bin organizer thing, so I was pretty limited with what I could do, as is probably the situation for most people. Macro mills are expensive, and Ikea drawers with a bunch of trays are even more so. So my first move was to start broad. I began by coming up with nine general categories to fit in each of my fabric bins. I'll run through them quickly for those who are interested. Bricks, tiles, small plates, larger plates, 55 burgers, 55 fries, 55 tacos, 55 bikes. Technic, modified bricks, clips and joints, windows, doors, and ladders, and finally, everything else. It mostly consists of the the other weird molded pieces that Lego makes that don't really fit into their own category. I basically use this bin if I can't decide where a piece should go. I also ended up sorting out my plants, minifigs, studs, and snot bricks into one gallon Ziploc bags and putting those into the bins where I could fit them. Over time, these categories have been slightly altered to better fit the pieces I've gained. For instance, I had to move all my wheels and tires into a separate container because they were just taking up way too much space in my Technic bin. But doing this has made building mocks so much faster and easier. Sorting Lego seems like a huge drag. It takes so long to go through a big bin of Lego, putting each piece in its designated spot. Get back to work. Gosh. But in the long run, it'll actually save you so much time. Sifting through a bin for hours to find that one piece adds up. And if you just buckled down, listened to some music, and sorted your pieces, you would free yourself up to build bigger and more incredible things. Even if you only have one large bin and can't afford buying a bunch of smaller containers, sort everything into Ziploc bags. Don't get bogged down and discouraged thinking that you don't have the right sorting equipment. Improvise. If you have two bins, split everything you have into two categories. Maybe have a bin for the more often used pieces like bricks, plates, tiles and have the other weirder pieces like Technic, Windows, and Mixel joints in the other bin. It doesn't take much other than time and some creativity to get started. And once you level up a bit and get more storage and space, the sorting you've already done can only help you sort further. Initially, I put all of my normal bricks into this bin, regardless of size and color. Then, when I got these black drawers from Amazon, it was very easy to separate the bricks by color and have a designated tray for each. Side note, sorting by color is typically frowned upon, but at this level, I think it's totally fine. If you're only sorting all of your pieces by color, Stop it. Get some help. Progressively sorting my Lego has been fantastic. I don't have to worry about other kinds of pieces getting in the way. Not to mention being just a bin of bricks has been so helpful for building things in the past. It's a win-win. Then when I built these super neat Acro Mills inspired shelves, I could very easily split out my color sorted trays by piece. And now each brick has an organizer for each color. It's beautiful. I did the same thing with these one by plates, one by tiles, and some of these larger plates. Following this pattern of same color horizontally, and same piece vertically. But as you can see, I still use the black drawers to sort other pieces, and I've kept the fabric bins holding to those same nine categories. Because what I typically do with a loose bin of Lego is to first sort everything into the nine bins, and then sort the bins individually when I have space in my trays. I would argue that if you had the perfect Lego sorting setup, you should still have an intermediate step. Imagine having an organizer for every piece of every color and then getting a large bin of loose Lego and trying to sort that into those trays. It would be a nightmare. Just finding the correct organizer would take you forever. And so starting broad categorically allows you to focus on a certain section of your pieces. Basically, sorting in any capacity is good. It makes sorting into finer parts way easier down the road. So whether you have a thousand Acro Mills organizers or just a few plastic bins, you should sort your Lego. There's no way I could have built, say, Shipment or Last Resort if I hadn't sorted my pieces first. It would have taken way too long. Speaking of, I recently spent a lot of time sorting out these pieces for my next video game, that build. 
Let me know down in the comments which map you think it's gonna be. And now after all that preaching, I get to sort all of this Lego. Sheesh, it's gonna take a while. I started making shirts. They're super comfortable and quite humorous. All of my designs can be found on my Etsy, which is linked below in the description. So if you wanna rock a hilarious Lego related design and support this channel, go check it out. Hey you. Yeah, you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. You're burying me alive. Oh, hey, you're close. You're waking the neighbors. What happened? Don't worry about it. Why is breaking the door? The whole bin? Part of it. The handle? Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye for a world.